In the first video, how to build your 72 hour kit, I left out a few key elements, like we never actually built the kit. So today, this video is gonna cover everything that we put inside the kit and we're actually gonna put it inside the six gallon bucket. All of this food together adds up to about 13,000 calories. And that's what, 4,000 calories per day. Some people may need less, some people may need more, but this is a good starting point. Everybody's kit is gonna be different. I put this in my kit, but what you put in your kit may be totally different. Always remember to put in the kit what you're gonna eat. There's no sense in putting stuff in there that you don't like because in the event of an emergency, this is exactly what you're gonna be stuck with. So we're gonna make our 72 hour kit inside of this six gallon bucket. And what I've got here are a couple of screw on lids, okay? This one is a red twister lid. This one is the original Gamma Seal lid. If you look at those, a uh, nice thing about these is once you put them on, they'll actually screw right off. Unless they're on too tight yet. So you just unscrew and you have them to put on and off your kit. The benefit of this over just one that just hammers on is if you need something in your kit, you can just unscrew it, reach in, get what you want, and then you can seal it back down. If you look inside here, there is, there is a nice little ring here. It's an O-ring. And this will keep your kit uh, dry. Anyway, so let's go ahead and put this lid on there. Let's, which one should we put on? Should we put the red lid or should we put the black lid? Let's, let's put the black lid on. So I typically just tighten that down a little bit, put that over the top, kind of push it down, and then I get a rubber mallet. And I just kind of go around the edge. Make sure this is sealed all the way down. This should be pretty flush around here. If you see any sections that are uh, leaning out, just give them a couple little hits. Follow up, follow up with a couple more smacks on it. And now, your bucket, your bucket, is ready to start loading your items into. Alright, so let's start with the bigger stuff first. So stuff that's bulkier, uh, like the spam. I've got spam here. Let's put that in there. And we've got some lasagna mix, some chicken breast. Let's put that in there. Put the bean or the what do we got here? Vienna sausages. Let's put these uh, these oatmeal down at the bottom. I think that'll round out. That'll round out the very bottom. Try not to squish everything so that it breaks open, especially these, especially these uh, oatmeal's. So <clears throat> now I'm going to get some bigger stuff. These, these are, these are snacks chicken salad snacks. They've got the, the chicken salad and they got some crackers in there. They're really nice. This is the same thing, but it's got tuna. All right, one more. All right, so now let's take, I got some refried beans. Let's put that on the very bottom. Pulled pork and white premium chicken. Put that in there. Got my walking tamale. I got it right this time put it in there. Now I've got all this little stuff. So what we should do with the little stuff is grab a Ziploc bag. It's always nice to have a few extra Ziploc bags in your kit because if you do open something, oh let's not put the peanut butter in there. If you do open up something, then you can actually put it back into a Ziploc bag. Let's grab the nuts. These are all granola bars, and these are some uh, some really nice little nature bakery bars. They actually expanded to Utah, so anyway, nobody cares. Um, put that in there. I got some uh, apple cinnamon um, squeezes. Put these in there. Some peanut butters in there, and let's see if that works. Kind of squeeze all the air out of it. Oh, it fits in there really nicely. 
Now I can get these pepperoni sticks and kind of just feed them down on the side because I got extra room on the side. So, all right, so those are down there. Some jerky for sliding on the side. Oh, got to have coffee. Don't forget the coffee. And I've also got this French vanilla Maxwell House. It's like the international coffees that they had, but this one was really nice. So put that in there. Now, the reason I put everything in here like this, as you see, um, and it's, we're already up to about here. Uh, so that means everything else has got to go in on top of this. Now, I don't know if I want to put these crackers in here now. So, because if we put the crackers in and we shove it all on, it's just going to bust these up. So I'm going to put these crackers and these Oreos away. And we're going to go ahead and put those in after I finish the other stuff. What goes in next? Let's see. We have water. We're not going to put water in here. We've already put food in here. We need to put some shelter stuff. And then all of the miscellaneous items that we talked about earlier. Let's get those in there. All right, so the next thing we're going to put in here is our shelter. Now, as we talked about, this is a poncho liner. The nice thing about it is it folds up really, really small. So I'm going to actually use this as I'm packing certain things. So I may put this in here like this and cram it down in there. Okay. Now, let's take some other bulky stuff, a cup, some tape, Oh, see what I did? Just put that inside there. Here's the, the blanket, the baby blanket. And this one has a little whistle with it. It's kind of cool. So shove that down in there. Maybe a flashlight. Shove it down in there if it fits. So now you see I've kind of compacted everything into one little cup. So let's put this down in there. Um, let's put some stuff into a Ziploc bag. So we've got this battery backup with a charging cable. What else are we going to put in here? Okay, let's put in the multi-tool. Let's put in some cards. Here's some chapstick, some car mix that I didn't think about before. Um, as you learn of the things you need to put in your kit, you're going to find out that one day it's like, oh, I wish I had this in my kit or that in my kit. So uh, let's see if I can find a place for silverware. All right, that's in there. Meds. I'm going to put my meds and stuff inside my my first aid kit and if you want to make sure that you have this thing all your meds and everything kind of organized and I'm going to take them out of this little all these aspirins and Tylenols and stuff I'm going to take them out of here and put them in here because that's kind of bulky so let's get that in there and let's cram it in there okay we're running out of space all right Remember what I talked about with the with the crackers, okay? We're going to put some glasses in there, uh, a compass. Um, so here's the trash bags, but so I've got some little trash bags here too. And let's put them in there. There's some hydration liquid IV. Put that in there. All right, we are getting pretty full. Let's put the radio in there. Now if you look at it, the radio, the antenna doesn't fit. So I can just unscrew the antenna and slide it in there. Make sure it doesn't get squished down. Life straw. Uh, toothbrush, toothpaste. <clears throat> Money and documents. All right. Here is, let's see if I can find a place for this. Oh, it fit. All right, good. Um, gloves, we talked about gloves. Gloves are an important thing. Scissors, all right. Now we are pretty full in here. I don't know if we're going to get much else in there. Uh, let's put the body wipes in there. Now what do I got left here? I have some toilet paper. Well, I can actually use these wipes and just cut them up and use them for toilet paper. So I'm going to just keep those in there. All right. Socks are important. Let's grab some socks in here. Um, maybe I can get two pairs of socks in here. Maybe. All right, I got two pairs of socks in there. Oh. Maybe a pair of underwear. So that kit, if you look at it, is pretty full. All right, well, I don't have my crackers, but I'm gonna talk about how many calories we already have in our kit. 
and we don't absolutely need these crackers. They're going to take up a lot of space. So what's left? That. I've got a pair of socks and two pairs of underwear. So let's get the lid. Let's get the lid and let's try to put it on. All right. All right. Is it going to go? Is it going to go? All right. I'm going to put it down here on the floor. Boom, right there. Oh, now it's down. Now. So I'm going to hold the sides. And so that's it. I've got everything inside of this six gallon bucket except for what? I'll show you. Right, so we'll put that up there. And then we grab a water jug. Now, yesterday I said this was a five gallon jug. Well, somebody says it's a seven gallon jug. Well, seven gallons is better than five gallons. And for one person, all you need is three gallons. So you've got enough to last six days here if you really want. So that is how you actually put everything you need into your six gallon bucket. And you've got your water. And in an emergency, I can just grab this and I can go. Um, now you're going to ask, what happens if I have stuff that's left over that is important, that has to go in the bucket, but there's no room? Let's say uh, you needed to take some space out. You could take those oatmeal out. Those were pretty bulky. Um, and this brings up another point. If, let's say you have a freeze-dried meal, you can grab a freeze-dried meal. <clears throat> So here's a freeze-dried meal by ReadyWise. Let's open this up. This is enough for 72 hours. See, I've never even opened this up, so uh, what are we going to find in here? It's a surprise. So let's open this up and dump it out. So what you have here is you've got oatmeal, multigrain cereal, apple and cinnamon cereal, You've got creamy vegetable pasta, whey milk alternative, some noodle soup, and some Southwest beans. Now that's enough for seven days. Even if I stacked it right like that, you can see it only comes up to about a third of the bucket. Now, if and the important thing to know about this is you're going to need water for all of this. And you're probably going to want something to cook it with. So let's take that, put it off to the side, and let's talk about two things that you can do. Here we are. We've got my we've got a little folding camp stove. You see this right here? It's a little folding camp stove. It folds down really nice and, and small and a little bit bigger than a pack of cards. You open it up and they sell these little things called fire on discs. This fire on disc slides right down in here and you can light it with a match and this will start burning. And you can put your cup on here, you can put a little aluminum pan, whatever you want to cook with, okay? Uh, but what if you don't have this little cooker thing and one of these fire discs? All right, let's set those aside. Let's say you can find yourself some sterno, okay? Some people carry these in their kits. Easy way to do this is get two bricks or two rocks, place the sterno in between, and pop the lid and start it with a fire and now it's going to it's going to uh, you'll be able to heat up whatever you have so let's say you don't have bricks well get a couple of rocks now what if you don't have sterno either and you've got no bricks well imagine these are rocks now you can put your rock your rocks like this you could build a little fire in here just a little small one and I'll actually do that in another video um, and you put it there and then you get your rocks and bring it up to there and then you could actually push the sticks into the fire while you've got something cooking here. So survival and emergency preparedness is all about thinking what you can use because you don't have something. When an emergency strikes you're not going to have everything. You're not going to have toilet paper. You're not going to have sterno. You may not have whatever milk way alternative. 
But what are you going to do to survive? This is all about a mindset. This is a mindset of I am not going to quit. Don't ever, ever quit. Think about the things that you need in your 72-hour kit. Maybe you have a special requirement that you need to take two of these buckets. Um, it's totally understandable. The most important part of this is that you have this kit here and this water where you can grab it in a moment's notice, literally within one minute, and take it out to your car and place it in your car and get out of town. Other things you might want to keep in this kit, it's up to you. There's so many things. Everybody is different. Um, some people may want to keep cigarettes in there or maybe you like to drink a little alcohol. Whatever it is, this is your kit. I'm not going to tell you that you're wrong about your kit and I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I'm wrong about my kit. So um, I appreciate you watching this. Uh, subscribe to this channel because this is video 1.5 of a five part series. I missed a bunch of stuff yesterday so I wanted to make sure that I covered all of it. Thanks and I'll see you next time.